Hello everyone, my name is Mike Newhart, Master Trainer here at FitnessWorks in Gilbert and this is Nikki Spencer. She's an off-season bikini competitor. We're gonna work on her basic biceps and back for the workout of the week. And we hope you enjoy your time with us today. The first exercise that we're gonna do today is a one-arm dumbbell row. This is gonna focus on Nikki's mid to upper back and on her biceps, increasing her posture for good awareness for her competitions that we compete upon. Things as a trainer I'm looking at, I'm looking at the knee being bent, her quadricep being turned on and tight, abdominals embraced, relaxed arm at the start, and she's gonna pull up in through her hip. Exercise is 12 repetitions as she goes along. The tempo is smooth, so it's working her whole back as she goes through, and her head is in alignment with her spine as she does the exercise. That's a nice job, 12 good repetitions. All right, now we're gonna go over to the opposite side. Again, we're looking at the knee position through personal training. It's not just about lifting weights. It's about doing it with correct form, with the accountability of a trainer. That's gonna help you out in every exercise. So now she's starting to lift her shoulder. As a trainer, I'm gonna say, relax your shoulder, and I want you to engage your back. It's not a shoulder exercise. We're focusing on core, and we're focusing on back at the same time. Still, the shoulder is in place. Her knee is bent, and her nice legs, quadriceps are turned on. Even though it's a back workout, we're still focusing on everything of the whole body. And now we're gonna go into a superset movement. Her superset is gonna be a one-arm dumbbell row. We have two weights, so we're gonna start with the heavier weight and maybe gear down to the lighter weight. We're gonna face the mirror. We're gonna do a one-arm dumbbell bicep curl. Her knees are bent and locked in, ready to go. Elbow to the side of the body. Shoulder is back and down while her core is tight. She's gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. Some people ask, why do we do one arm movements at the time at the gym? We are focusing, and I know for instance, for her as a client, she has one arm that's super weak, one arm that's super strong. In our training sessions, we devise a program. Where we're gonna make her weaker arm stronger, which is really gonna help her out in her lifestyle and everything she does. So looking at her form, knees are bent, Abs are on with her opposite hand. She can feel her abdominal staying tight throughout the whole set. Chest is high and strong. Nothing is active here. What is active? Bicep head of the two parts of the bicep. Now the next exercise we're gonna do in the back and bicep off-season bikini workout is a wide row. Most people can't pull wide of their back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the weight out. There we go right there. Elbow is side of shoulder. Her wrist is relaxed, not tightening up at the same time. We look back at the first exercise we did today. Knee is bent, core is locked in, shoulder is down and relaxed. This is a much harder exercise than it looks. We're gonna do 12 to 15 on each side of the wide back dumbbell row today. So front point of view, hand, wrist, underneath the shoulder. You can see on this side, it's definitely her weak side, especially from the round one of exercises. This shoulder keeps lifting, so as a trainer, I'm gonna keep my hand right here and push down so she doesn't and is unable to push up on the exercise here. There's two different types of bicep curls that you wanna do in the gym. One is a bicep full curl, one is a hammer curl. This is exercise number two. It's an easier one from the bicep curl. You'll be able to lift more weight in it. The only difference is her hand's not turned out, her thumb is up, resulting in the brachioradialis muscle right here. The elbow is turned into the body. You don't wanna let the elbow come out. Shoulder relaxed, down, set back. Knees are bent, everything looks good. As a trainer, I'm also looking at her feet. What are her feet doing in relationship to her hips? Her feet are in a good set position, just like our body pump class. Her knees are still bent. Now, sucking real tight right in there. Then you can possess much more power from the elbow and shoulder position. The next exercise is gonna be a seated row. We've done a bunch of exercises in the workout already. One of the more functional exercises is when you get more tired in the gym is to do machinery. It's more stable, it's not gonna hurt your body as much as basic dumbbell exercises that have already been accomplished. Nikki's gonna perform a seated row right now. Her knees are bent, so it functions her quads and her hamstrings. She's leaning slightly back, which strengthens her lower back. Hands are in close. Wrists are straight and in position. Elbows are locked in. Shoulders are relaxed and set down. With this movement, we teach the squeeze method, 
We're gonna squeeze for one or two seconds in the back. All right, finishing up the seated row, you can see all of our muscles start to pop out. These are our upper traps. These are our rhomboids. Her lat attachment's coming down to her mid-back. And believe it or not, at one point before being an instructor, Nikki was a little bit out of shape. She was 200 pounds. So if you're watching this video and you don't think you can get in this shape at approximately about high 120 pounds right now, this is what you need. Personal training, a person to guide you to do the things that she's done. Competitions, even becoming an instructor in different formats at our gym here at Fitnessworks. Now this is a tough one because it involves lots of factors. Her hands are in a certain angle, which a trainer will show you. Her elbows are coming down and out at a 45 degree angle. Head is neutral with the spine, all the way down. And she's slightly leaning back so the bar and the weight doesn't pull her forward. Also look at her feet when you get a second, that she's in a stride stance. She's keeping her glutes tight in the exercise. And then we have five more. This is designed for the mid to upper back here, everything up from the middle trapezius to the upper trapezius and the rhomboids like worked in the seated row. Hands are in good position. Elbows are out and to the side, maybe a little higher. And she's got the opposite leg back, so that means her left glute now is being activated in the exercise. Wonderful job. Lat pull down is the next exercise for Nikki. We're gonna do 15 repetitions for three sets. Commonly most mistaken in the gym, done wrong. Let's see it done right today. Lock yourself in so the weight's not gonna pull her up. Be always careful of hitting your head, pulling it down. We're gonna pull this bar down to her chin level. Full extension of the elbows. This is gonna work the V-shaped taper of her back all the way from the back of her armpits all the way down through her mid rib cage right here. Look at the extension. Extension, elbows down, full extension. She can even lean back a little bit but within reason because we don't want to fall off the machine obviously in the lap pull down. Let's do two more there. All right, this is our finishing set of the three sets of 15 on the lap pull down, superset by the inside grip lap pull downs of 10 to 15. The second, si second exercise will always be harder because the muscles are pre-fatigued going into lactic acid. When we're doing this exercise, always relax the upper trapezius, pull down to the chin, always in front of the body, now the superset that we're gonna do is a closed grip, inverted grip, lat pull down. Well, what's the difference between the two? This one magnifies the biceps so much more, so it's good to superset and do both of them in the gym instead of just doing a wide grip lat pull down. Wide grip will work on our outside lats. This works more on our rhomboids and our inside of our lat muscles, accompanied by the bicep. This exercise, you'll also find out we're not only dealing with the chin now, we're pulling all the way down to the top of the chest in this movement, along with squeezing our biceps as the accessory muscle in the exercise. All right, next exercise that we're gonna do in our back and bicep workout here is a ball reverse fly. A regular fly works your chest, but now one of the weakest areas of the body is right here, the posterior deltoid. We're looking at relaxed arms and elbows here, neutral spine with the body, glutes are tight, quads are tight, we're just lifting out to the outside of our body, shoulder height right there. Five more repetitions with the reverse fly. This exercise, we only do approximately about 10 to 12, very functional movement and very technical exercise. Working on the second repetition, second set of the reverse flies. Now the client's gonna start getting tired. We're finding out what weight that this client can handle on this exercise. Wrists are still straight. You can see the struggle on top. Let's re relax the rhomboids and squeeze the outside. Work on the glutes now, tighten the core up, and then tighten up the quads, which our legs are extended for the extra base of support in the stability movement. Now this is the second exercise of the reverse flies. However, our grip has totally changed. As you can see on her left hand, her pinky is now leading the exercise, which exponentially makes this exercise so much harder to do. Now we're doing it standing so it's more stable. Everything's initiated. We're trying to reach those arms out to a parallel level with the wall and then squeeze the outside. We're working from her posterior delt all the way in through her rhomboids, through her scapular area.
We just want to thank you for watching our video for back and biceps off-season bikini competitor Nikki. Nikki, how did you enjoy the workout today? Oh, I loved it. It was challenging, but it was great. There you have it. So if you want to check in some more videos, watch us, learn, and try personal training for yourself. Thank you.